What's more, you're a dirty little man. A filthy, unpleasant beast with a nasty, horrid habit that should be whipped out of you. You cringing, whimpering, snivelling, scurrilous, creepy little oik. Yours sincerely, and just sign that and send it with a demand for the money, OK? Yes, Mr Nock. Thank you, Miss Enter. Ah, good morning. Oh, good morning. You've come about the... I, I've come about the chairs. The chairs? Yes, the um, antique chairs. The antique chairs. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a sex problem, isn't it? Yes, how did you know? Well, when you've been in this business a fortnight, you pick up a thing or two. I see. And one of the first things you do pick up is that people who are interested in antique chairs do tend to go to antique furniture shops and not, on the whole, to places with sex problems written very clearly on the door. I see. Mind you, it's not always true, is it, George? No, Mr. Not. Actually, that is a sex problem, but a very rare one. Oh. Well, now we know it's a sex problem, what can I do for you? Oh, well, I, I, I'd like one. What? I'd like to have a sex problem. Oh, I see you don't have one? No. And you're interested in purchasing one of ours? Exactly. Oh, fine. Well, what sort of sex problem were you interested in purchasing? Well, what have you got? Well, I've got them all. Not personally, but in the shop, you know. Mind you, I recommend you lay off the antique chairs. Really? Yes, very expensive. He's on six Chippendales a week. The dry cleaning bills alone are worth a fortune. Now, I've got a catalogue here with some of them in. Why don't you just browse through and see what you don't fancy? Mr Nock? Yes, Miss Enter? Telephone for you. Oh, thank you. That is a nice one. Thank you. Oh, and there's a Mrs Pollock on the line for you, sir. Ah, oh, good. Hello? Yes? Good Lord, never heard of that one. Fine, we'll be around right away. Yes, we'll bring a bucket. Thank you. Where do these clients get their ideas from, Betty? Betty! Sorry, Mr Nock, just an idea. I don't know why I keep you. Oh, yes, I do. Um, this? Yes. Is this generally available? Oh, no, sir, you've chosen a very rare one there. I think I like that problem. Well, it's not so much a problem, sir. It's more a way of life. Well, I'm not married, you see, and I would quite like to have something to worry about. Well, if you can afford the equipment, sir. Oh, is it very expensive? Well, to get it to fit properly, sir, yes. It has to be nice and uncomfortable. Uh, how do I get hold of it? Well, that's the problem, sir. No, 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 the equipment. Ah, oh, oh, you just pop along to this address, sir. They'll fix you oh, up. Oh, thank you very much. Very civil. Not at all. Right, Betty, the pullets. Come on, I've got a big problem. I'll say you have. To see to. Right, Mr Nock. have got the sex man in again. Third time this week. Good morning. Good morning. Can I help you, sir? Uh, yes, I've uh, come about uh, this <clears throat> little dog. Uh, lost. What is it really, sir? I've come about the special equipment for gentlemen. Certainly, sir. Francis! Yeah? Gentlemen for you. Oh, dear. Oh, hello. I'm Francis. I'm in the CIA. Um, what? I mean, uh, CID. Uh, silly me. I, I nearly blew my cover. Is this your first time here? Uh, yes. 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 Well, you're in good hands this way. I've got a beginner. Trollop. Oh. Whose bed did you get out the wrong side of? Twenty minutes they've been in there. What a problem. Maybe we should get a new one. We can't afford a new problem. Well, the neighbours have got a new big one. Nurse? Nurse? Yes? Cold water and plenty of it. Now... Is that comfortable, love? Well, not very, no. Uh, well, I might be able to take it in a bit, but not right away. I've got my hands full with a police ball. Oh, but I need it tonight. I've got a date. Ooh. Francis. Yeah? How do I look? Oh, let's have a look, love. Oh, sh still needs a bit of work, love. Really? Yeah, it's not everyone who can wear a bin. Well, what about some boxes on the feet? I don't, honestly, no. Well, it might set you off a bit. Well, I'll try it, I'll try it. He's just not got the figure for that bin. Michael, darling, I'm so happy. I'm glad. Come here, my darling. Oh. 
I'm so proud of your problem. Let's think of it as our problem, Glenda. No, it's your problem, Michael. I knew you'd like it. I think that we can still get over it. Not in this armour, we can't. No, I mean your problem. Oh, well, uh, look, don't let's get over it too quickly. I I've only just finished paying for it. Darling. Darling. Kiss me. That was wonderful. I know. Hello. What? Hello. Oh, hello. Not interrupting anything, I hope. Well, as a matter of fact... Oh, uh, don't mind me. I've been here for ages watching you. What? Yes, I, ever since the beginning. Obviously, I kept quiet because I wanted to hear what you were doing. Well, of all the bloody... Uh, please, I... please don't abuse me. You see, I have a problem. I'm a non-voyeur. What? Yes, I like to watch people not having sex. That's difficult. Round here it is. Oh. So, obviously, you two are perfect for me. Do you mind if I sit down and watch you for a while? Well, I don't know. Oh, I shan't interfere or uh, uh, burp or tell unsavoury anecdotes or anything like that. What do you think? I don't know. Lovely problem you've got. Oh, do you think so? Yes, yeah, smashing. Oh, thanks very much. It's new. Is it a sex problem? <laughs> Going to be. Yes, I think everybody should have a problem these days, don't you? Oh, yes. Yes, I think that was Mr Heath's failing, don't you? Not enough problems. That's what I said to my late ex-wife. You've got a late ex-wife? Yes, they're much nicer than real ones. Oh, I don't think you can beat a good wife. Well, you can, if she let you. Shh! Listen. What? Can't you hear it? Oh, yes. Listen, darling, it's the song of the insurance men. No, no, the song, oh, the insurance men. What? The song, oh, the insurance men. Oh, sorry. They gather here every evening to sing insurance ballads round the campfire. We'll cover you against fire and flood. Way, ho, endowment. But not riots, war, nor act of God. Way, ho, endowment. Over a period of 30 years. Way ho and Ammon. Unless, of course, you're in arrears. Way ho and up your premium. And look, up in the trees, accountants. The long day's accounts are done and they gather here in the ragged woods to sing accountancy shanties. Twas in my youth I ran away to accountancy One day with pen and paper, collar and stud Accountancy was in my blood I'll scribble away and bounce the books And sing an accountancy shanty I chartered an accountant at the age of twenty-one I'll scribble away and bounce the books Singing accountancy shanty. So raise a glass of medium dry sherry to the golden age of VAT. I'll scribble away and balance the books and sing an accountancy shanty. Oh, it's a rare sight for this part of Rygit. Yes. And look. Where? Over there. Oh, yes. 